Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. All right, I wanted to talk to you guys about the Bitmain Atminer S19J Pro. Now, this is a model that's been quite prominent over the past couple years, especially in 2021, when I remember when these were going for about $15,000 at one point maybe even higher that i saw when you know bitcoin hit like what 64 67 000 or something back in may of like 2021 or something like that so asic miners were selling for quite a bit like this s19j pro so it's been four years and how much are these things going for now well i want to talk to you guys about that in the computer also go through how profitable are these miners now nowadays depending on your electrical rate but you guys can see I have both of mine off because my electrical rate where I am mining right now is about eight and a half cents here in this location so as of recording I think Bitcoin hit like almost 125 K earlier today as of recording so these miners may make under a buck or something like that of course anyone with like four three cents electric they're making a couple bucks still with these miners and they're a couple years old now and actually still very reliable. But I'm planning on selling the ones I have here. I also have an S19 uh, XP, which is still pretty good, 140 terahash miner, but takes like what, 3,000, 3,100 watts or so. Still a great miner, but I'm planning on uh, selling these on my website. Actually, they might be on my website right now, redpandamining.shop if anyone's interested. Anyways, let's go on the computer. Let's see how the older S19J Pros are doing, or S19 series, as I think those are still a very popular miner with a lot of people who have maybe free power and then people who have scaled with solar. I don't know many people who have done that, but they could run big boy ASICs like these. And of course, people with cheap power. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the computer right after a word from today's video sponsor. Looking to jump into crypto mining with confidence? Meet ASLminer.com, your gold standard supplier for all ASIC mining hardware. Founded in 2015, ASL Miner distributes top brands like Bitmain, What's Miner, Ice River, Canan, and now they are the official distributor of the new Flu Miner L1 Pro Dogecoin Miner, Flu Miner L2, and coming soon, the Flu Miner T3 Bitcoin Miner. They have multiple cryptocurrency payment methods, worldwide shipping, and world class customer service to deal with customs and tariffs. ASL Miner makes the ASIC Miner buying experience easy. Visit ASLminer.com today and use code RPMRPM for $30 off your order for the lowest priced crypto miners today. Link down below. Okay, so Bitcoin, 123,000 as of recording. Like I said earlier today or yesterday, Bitcoin did hit 125. So just came down only 2,000 or so. But I think we're going to keep going up higher, not financial advice. But anyways, so I wanted to correlate. Okay, we're talking about the S19J Pro. There's a video I did pretty much three, four years ago. I think it was back in back in November of 2021. I tried to go back through all my videos. I tried to find some uh, just information regarding the you know, original price of the S19J Pro. But uh, funny thing, okay, this thing that I had back in November of 2021, um, this is when uh, the 104 terahash model S19J Pro, I was mining to just by itself and it mined about 0 0.0057 uh, 533 Bitcoin a day. All right. And you know, that was worth about $32 US at the time. So the Bitcoin that I mined back then, that was when Bitcoin was $56,449. Here we are today with Bitcoin 123,000. That means that S19J Pro back three, four years ago is now worth $71. Okay. USD. So you can see the benefit there of mining and hodling and seeing the yield that we were able to mine back then, obviously much more than now, right? The yield of an S19J Pro, uh, actually we can see right now, is not going to be the same amount that we mined back four years ago. It's going to be uh, 0.0004334 a day, Bitcoin a day. So it used to be, right? It used to be 0 0.00057, right? Triple zero. But now we're at four decimal places in <laughs> zero, four, two, five, five. So much less Bitcoin and an S19J Pro right now, if you had free power, mines $5 
and 26 cents a day. So you can see the difference there of how much obviously Bitcoin's price has climbed since then, but how much the Bitcoin network's hash rate has risen since then. All right, so 2021 back in November, yeah, you know, we were about 145 exa hash, dipped down to about 96. So when I started that uh, S90J, it was 164 exahash. So Bitcoin's network hash rate since then has climbed, I'm going to say 7x. Since then, we're over 1.1 zettahash now. 1.141 zettahash, which is utterly insane. There's a lot of Bitcoin miners out there right now. A lot of industrial players that are in uh, Bitcoin mining right now, right? Everyone understands there's a lot of big players in the space. A lot of a lot of industrial miners that have cheap power under four cents a lot of them under two cents i know a lot of farms under one cents even and they're able to profit and there are a lot of farms out there that have these models that are still mining and look so at eight cents what roughly what i have uh, at that other basement i'm actually losing 31 cents a day now okay actually i just saw the, like a hash rate just the hash rate for bitcoin actually just jumped it looks like it it just I think it jumped over the past month here. I know it looks like it's it hasn't, but I, I'm pretty sure it has. And it's also, it's it's causing the difficulty, right? There's the difficulty adjustment every two weeks, right? Every 14 days. So there's there's definitely some play there right now um, with the profitability. But looking at S19J Pro 104, right? Making five, $5 a day. I, at eight cents though, I'm losing. But anyone that's under, let's say four cents, this thing makes $2.65 a day and i know plenty of mining farms that still have these miners and of course cheap power so they're able to run these into the ground right even at two cents electric you're making four bucks a day you know plenty of people with under one cents out there uh maybe not you know necessarily in north america but uh other parts of the world that have much cheaper electric they're making four dollars 78 cents a day on uh on a bitcoin miner like this that's four or five years old and they're now worth like under what new it looks like under 800 bucks which i obviously wouldn't buy this miner anymore but if you go on ebay there's actually people that are still buying these miners recently sold on ebay october 5th right as a recording uh look at this 500 bucks uh let's see here s19j pro 104 terahash someone just bought one Oh, for six hundred nineteen dollars. Wow, this one's all decked out though. With uh, looks like it's got like uh, is this fruition designs or uh, crypto cloaks uh, design here? I'm not sure. Three D printed design here uh, to make it silent. Inline fan, of course. We've done that before. But look, there there are people still buying this miner for a couple hundred bucks, which is, I mean, you know, it's not like you know before these miners used to cost what four twelve thousand, fifteen thousand. I think I saw at one point. Uh, back in 2021, like you can see this video I did back in November, right? 2021, 13,000, 13,000, 12,000, 11,000. People were buying these miners, right? Because the profitability during this time, these were making 28, 30, 40 dollars a day. Oh, look, there's my S19 XP, like 43 bucks a day, right? Look how far we've come, right? Look, look, look how far we've come with the network hash rate, difficulty of Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin, right? We're hitting that like equilibrium, right? The amount of people that have been getting into Bitcoin mining is is quite huge, right? We got a lot of solo miners out there. Granted, it's not probably not that much hash rate in solo miners, but because they're so they're such small devices and they output such small hash rate. But when it comes to big boy uh, ASIC mining, you know the efficiency is obviously key. Definitely matters depending on your electricity cost, of course. But there's plenty of new miners, new Bitcoin miners that are coming out constantly, and they're marginally more efficient like incrementally more efficient, <laughs> like every single, like I feel like we hear announcement every like six months or a couple months or something. And, but the S19J Pro that I just showed you guys in the beginning, uh, I think I was running on uh, LPM mode actually. So 80 to 82 terahash, but at like 2000 watts. So it's, it's getting about 24 watt per hash. So it's a really, you know, it was great for doing that for people to have uh, maybe higher electrical cost. They would put it on low power mode and eke out a little bit more efficiency right to be able to still be profitable on this miner but as we go up right you know since then the past four years there have been plenty of new miners that have come out like s19k pro right this is getting about 23 watt per hash as we go along you know s19j xps desawi watts miner m60s you know they're getting 20 
you know, WAP for hash as we go up here, you know, Avalon, uh, let's see here, Bitmain, you know, T21, you know, these started coming out maybe not too long ago, Avalon A15, 1566, you can see here as we go up, as these models were coming out over the past couple of years, you can see the incremental increase in here of efficiency. And yeah, it's, you know, as we've go as like the past four years now, here we are, the latest versions, latest and greatest are going to be the uh, S21 series, or sorry, S23, which is coming out Q1 of 2026, which is absolutely insane. Do I recommend people getting into Bitcoin mining? It it, it really, I, I, I don't recommend it. It's getting quite industrialized. Everyone knows it's getting industrialized already. Unless, you know, for some reason, for some amazing reason, Bitcoin goes to 200K, then, you know, the next Bitcoin halving is going to be in 900 days, I think, from now. So you still have time to profit from it. But, you know, it's it's a big, it's a big hurdle. Like right now, right? A lot of these uh, ASIC miners, uh, Bitcoin miners, if you have the latest and greatest hydro, uh, cheap power, you're able to profit from it. But yeah, even at like eight cents, Bitcoin mining is, uh, let's see here, I put 80 cents, uh, eight cents. You can see here, you know, if you don't have the latest and greatest, you're really not going to be making much at, at around eight, uh, eight cents per kilowatt hour. And the fluctuations in Bitcoin's price, obviously, it, it matters a lot, right, to the profitability for those that, that truly care about it or can pay out of pocket, right? You know, I I think we've all seen that script. Dogecoin mining, Dogecoin miners have been able to sustain throughout the past years. I'm not saying that's going to happen, at, you know, again with Dogecoin. It's really it's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard to uh uh, you know, guess something like that or predict. It's it's either going to happen or not going to happen, right? It's something that someone's either going to take the risk on, especially for people who bought these, you know, back in 2021. Uh not talking about Bitcoin miners, but even script miners, right? And so it's really hard to say uh, what should be the best to invest right now um, if you're into crypto mining, but it ultimately comes down to your your power cost. If you can really sustain, even if, you know, let's say we go out for the next couple months for the crypto market and then the bear market ensues, you want to be able to make sure you have the latest and greatest miners because, you know, crypto mining is competitive, right? And it's competitive in a sense that there's going to be plenty of people out there that have older inefficient models and maybe higher electrical cost and they're not going to be able to, you know, stay on. So they're going to, you know, turn off. And you know, we've seen that in previous history. It hasn't really stuck around in a sense, but there's been industrial players that have been getting in already. Uh, as you can see, the hash rates <laughs> were in the Zeta hash already, which is quite insane, which is quite insane. But uh, yeah, if you guys are looking for Doge miners, script miners, let me know uh, down below or just email me, contact at redpenamine.com. I can get you a better deal uh, through a uh, aslminer.com. Just hit me up and uh, we can talk. Uh, I can I can talk with you guys uh, with the CEO of ASLminer. So if you're interested, hit me up. Email contact at redpenamine.com, especially if you're going to be buying uh, miners in bulk. All right, so I can help you guys out. But yeah, anyways... It's really, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, look back at the S19J miner here and just to show you how this miner has kind of like st stood this test of time in a sense. Obviously not at eight or above six cents. I mean, this thing is really, it's really not that great anymore. But as of right now, of course, the S19J Pro. But anyone that has cheap power, okay, which again, I know a lot of people who do and they're still running S19s. Heck, I even know some people with like really under one cent power that are running like S17s, right? The people still running S17s under one cent power. They're still able to make a couple bucks a day on S17s. This this miner came out back in April 2019. So this is like a six-year-old, seven-year-old ASIC miner that some people are actually still running. And that's what I'm going to say. You know, it's hard to say you know, how many of these older Bitcoin miners are out there right now. That's something I'm actually curious about. Now, I'm on a website called HiveOS uh, Statistics. This is not indicative of, you know, how many miners are out there. Uh, for GPU mining, it's pretty good, I'd have to say, of how many certain types of models that are on. Um, but ASIC models, uh, we can see that HiveOS has about 31% of their platform are S21s, right? Look at this, 18% of the platform is L3 pluses. Wow, so you can see there, L3 plus, even at one cent power, uh, this I know is we're not talking about big, uh, Dogecoin mining, but an L3 plus at one cent power, still profitable, right? Even though I'm making like a couple cents, sure. 
but there are people out there, plenty of people out there that still have this. 11% of HiveOS has S19J Pros. So that should tell you maybe a good 11% of the network are S19J Pros generally. I'm going to say it's more than that. You guys can let me know down below. I'm going to say it's like 20 to 30% because I don't know, not very many people maybe not have their miners on HiveOS, but I'm going to say like, I'm just guesstimating. I, I'm not, nobody, I don't think anyone can really say how many S19J Pros are still online, but I'm going to guess 30%. You guys let me know down below. Give, give me your guess how many miners, how many S19J Pros you think are still mining to this day. Right. And, you know, since then, there's obviously um, there's obviously uh, a lot of newer uh, and more efficient miners that have come out. Maybe there's, you know, 10 percent Avalons out there, you know, 10 percent Watts miners. But majority, I think, is going to be Bitmain uh, S21s now. S21 series is probably going to be majority of the miners. Seal miners coming out of the gate and, you know, Jack Dorsey's proto rig is coming. Flu miners coming. They're probably not having that much hash rate on the network, but it's coming, right? 14.7 Whopper hash. Like I know this is going to be a popular, popular home miner for a lot of people. Um, but as we go along, uh, there's going to be the newer S23 series coming out. And so how many big boy industrial miners out there, they're going to be, uh, that are going to be investing in this probably a good chunk. And so, right. It's yeah, there's going to be this cycle out of older hardware. And I'm curious of when, if people have that, that cheap power, how many of that is going to turn off, right? It's hard to say. I don't know. But uh, it all depends on Bitcoin's price and uh, how high, much higher it's going to go and be able to sustain and be profitable for everyone that is uh, getting into Bitcoin mining, right? That's that's the name of the game. That's the competitive nature, uh, zero-sum game of crypto mining, right? It's very competitive. So yeah, if you, if you can have the cheapest power possible to crypto mine, that's obvious the obviously the best. Um, free power if you got it solar that's that's obviously been the name of the game uh, when it comes to crypto mining cheaper power uh, in the end is what uh, wins right for people that can profit from this and uh, ultimately make money but uh, all right my friends that's it for this video let me know your guys's thoughts uh, do you guys still have s19j pros running at home let me know but uh, i am currently no more i am no longer having uh, s19s run anymore um, so I'm going to be uh, uh, liquidating these uh, on my website. So hopefully I'll have that on my website, redpenomine.shop if you guys are interested. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Let me know your thoughts. Peace out. Peace out. Are your electricity costs too high to mine at home? Check out Iowa Mining. Iowa Mining is an ASIC miner hosting facility located in Iowa, USA. With three plus years of crypto mining experience and 15 plus in the industrial commercial space, they provide the perfect blend of the best ASIC miner hosting and service available. They offer straightforward ASIC miner hosting prices, remote access, and personalized service with the goal of 99% uptime for your ASIC miners. Contact Contact them now to get your miners on today, link down below.